everyone, my name is Deborah Kozlovic and I'm one of Creative Memories Advisors from Australia. Today I'm going to show you a technique that I did on my, my layout using the geometric frame punch, which is this one down here down the bottom. And it just gives you a nice little effect and gives you like a stained glass look. So to begin to do that border, I'm going to show you. So we need your geometric frame punch and also a piece of cardstock. It can be a scrap piece of cardstock, doesn't have to be that wide. To start off with, you need to uh, punch out a straight line border. I've pre-done that, and that's just lining it up in here and just punching from the start to the end, just how we normally would make a border. The next step that you need to do is to get out your 12 inch trimmer to find the the, um, the width that we want to cut it at. I'll show you where that is. Today I'm going to be cutting, and mine was cut at two and three sixteenths. So two and three sixteenths, if you're looking at your um, 12 inch trimmer, you have your two and then you have your quarter mark. So that's your quarter line there. So that's two and a quarter. So if you just go that one dash below, and that would give you your two and three sixteenths. So that's where we're going to cut our cardstock today. So I'm just gonna line that up on that. Then putting it in, making sure that it's all straight, and then coming down, and then you'll end up with something like that. So we're just going to put that away. The next step that we need to do from here, we need to then punch on that side. Because this is not wide enough for us to see our where to start our starting line from, with the, just get a scrap piece of paper or um, a posty note or something like that, just to help you guide when you're feeding your um, strip through. So I've just got a scrap piece of paper. So I'm just gonna put it right on the edge there, just lining it up. Just got a little bit of repositional tape on there. So that's just on there. And that will give me my guide. So when I put it into the geometric frame punch, you can see I know where that line is. So I'm just gonna put it in and I'm gonna do my first punch. And as you can see, that gives you your first one. So then on, then you continue. So you just move along and then lining it up, making sure that it's all even on both sides, making sure that you've pushed this bit up the end and punch. And just moving along, you just go into the next one until you get to the end. Just making sure that it's lined up. This is pushed right up to the back of the housing part and punch. So we'll continue to punch. Making sure it's all lined up. And last one. And there we have it. So when I did the two and three sixteenths, it's just that line, that strip in the middle that gives that join in between each side of your punch. So the next step what we're going to do that I did with mine is the stained glass look is all these leftover little pieces that we have left over from our punch they're the bits that I've kept and then I've just put in between the joints so I've got some colored ones here from out of this world so if you just put them in there like that you know any design that you want to make it it just gives it a nice effect It really stands out on the navy blue. This is one that I've done earlier. This is all out of out of this world. So as you can see that I've pre-done these ones. These are all just sitting here. I've stuck them down just to show you the different look, different colors, different looks, and it makes it most effective. So this one here is cut on the two and a quarter, which as I said, it's just the gap in between. This is two and three sixteenths. 
This one is a little bit wider that I did. And that one, if you look at your centering ruler, I've actually did that one down here just before the two and a half on three and three, uh, sorry, two and three eighths. So then you can just go down to two and a half. It depends. It's just that in between strip in the end. Most of our border punches, you can actually do this same design with. So if you don't have the geometric punch, try one of the other punches, the other border punches, and see how you go. Thank you.